Master Chief Collection November update is live right now. And in this video, we're going to go into all the nitty gritty details of what you can expect the next time you sign on to the MCC. But how's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news update when it comes to Halo. If you like these news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the channel and this video get more notoriety so more people stay in the know when it comes to Halo updates. Yeah, if you guys have had a chance to play this new MCC update, leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you want to stay up to date with any Anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell to keep you up to date with anything going on with the channel and Halo news and Halo gameplay in general. So let's get right into the video here. So now you're probably wondering, okay Kevin, so what did they add to this MCC November update? Well, they added in the match composer, they added in brand new controller customization options, timer options when it comes to your in-game timers and player name color toggles, as well as they added the West Coast servers for the MCC, which I was surprised they weren't there in the first place as Seattle's kind of like the location where Halo is made. You think they have West Coast servers, but so I'm kind of going down the list here when it comes to the Halo Waypoint update. Uh, if you want to see all the little, little details of every little thing, you uh, want to know it's a link in the description down below uh, where you can see multiple links for uh, my, my twitch and twitter and stuff like that uh, i always have those linked down below if you want to read all the details i'm giving you all the tldr so basically everything you must know when it comes to this update uh, so kind of first thing to start here is talking about the flood nameplate that we talked about recently uh, that you know if you played flood between i think it was october 15th and october 31st you got a nameplate and uh, basically it said approximately 50,000 players participated and were awarded the the flood nameplate which i thought was pretty dang cool that like 50,000 people showed up and played mcc and got that nameplate so that's pretty awesome that you know at least there's still a decent amount of people still playing the game uh, they said you know 18,000 of those people just played one game 20,000 played two to five uh, almost 11,000 played 6 to 10, and then you had, you know, going all the way down to 7 players playing at least 250 plus games. And there was actually 4 players they noted about playing a lot more than 250 games, which is kind of crazy. So, uh, if you guys don't know, check out the MCC right now. You probably have a sweet new nameplate to check out. That's what I was rocking with in my stream recently, testing out this new update. So, a big update here is one of my things I was really looking forward to was the Match Composer, aka Mixtape Matchmaking, however you want to call it. It was added into the retail version of MCC. If you don't know what this is, it's basically you get to choose exactly what games and what game types that you want to play in the MCC for just social not right now for ranked as they mentioned in a previous uh, update that with the ranking system the way it is they have mixtape matchmaking or match composer working for that as well it doesn't really work out and I think also for uh, ranks generally you're gonna be one playing probably just Halo 3 or just Halo 2 when you're playing your ranks and trying to rank up and so then I feel that a match composer isn't too necessary for that but for uh, the um, the social side of things that yeah definitely match composer is very necessary so right now you're probably wondering gee willikers kevin how do i play and use this new matchmaking system well let's get right into it and i'll show you in this video first i want to take note of this awesome new menu screen that we have for the mcc update you can see it's kind of green and dark and kind of gloomy looking which i really like and it's even kind of like moving a little bit i can tell that's kind of some gases distorting the vision or something like that but it's kind of flood themed so i think it's pretty damn cool to have that in the background than the previous one and so what okay so we're gonna jump into the multiplayer here so this is what you're gonna see when you first jump into the game you go down to multiplayer you hit that and then you see social competitive Customs, Spartan Ops, Forge, and Theater. So let's jump right into the social games because that's where you'll be using the Match Composer. And this is what you'll be seeing when you first jump into it. Now, when you first hop in, you'll be seeing everything selected, which personally I think is a great setup. Which is why I think they kind of messed up when they were testing this out in the MCC Insider that uh, nothing was selected when you first did it. So I think it, it helps, especially with like the unaware players or players who don't care, give them all the options so then more likely to find those players and you know pick and choose what you want to play you know from that and so basically what you do you get your sets right here you get your custom setup right here you have your any setup slayer setup objective big team battle setup SWAT setup you know you can basically go down the list you know what I'm talking about here uh, I mainly found myself just playing the custom setup and then doing 4v4s you can do 12 player free for all which is only for infection right now you have eight players for a big team battle as well 
so you can just kind of click in exactly what you want to play, you know? Um, mainly what I was doing, I clicked off CE because, you know, CE, you know, it's fun. Um, but it's kind of tough to jump in and out of CE from my experience. I was playing a lot of Halo 2, Halo 2 Anniversary, and Halo 3. I selected off SWAT, no snipers, um, took off Action Sack and Griff Ball. And that's kind of what I was playing. I was finding matches super quick. It was super easy to use. And I was playing ex Halo MCC exactly how I wanted to play it. Kind of casually, fun, and not having to deal with playing Halo 4. So you just kind of, all you do is go up to where it says play up there, and then you go into matchmaking. No problem. And you're also probably wondering, well, how do I use this uh, new customization on your controller settings? Well, you go to options right here on the main menu, you scroll over the settings, and it takes you right to controller. And then this one, you can have a specific layout and uh, sensitivity for each individual game which is super nice and it goes up incrementally as you can see here so it's like i have ce at 3.5 with horizontal and then uh, five on vertical uh, two on acceleration and a four on dead zone now i did notice at least with ce especially and i think also with uh halo 3 that there is a bit of a weird controller drift uh, even if your controller isn't drift at all like in Halo 5, like I use this, I've been using this controller right here to play Halo 5 for like the past two years, three years or whatever, and I haven't had any issues with controller drift. But when I was playing it tonight, I noticed that there was some controller drift, so you probably want to have that dead zone, not exactly at zero, but maybe a little bit higher. It defaults at 12 for every game, so I lowered it down to four. Basically give you all the nice features you had in Halo 5, now in the MCC. Now within that same settings tab, if you go all the way over to the right where it says the gameplay tab, what you can do is now you can change your enemy player name color. So you can have it either be red if you see an enemy or legacy as in the original. And now you can also change the multiplayer game timer. So basically you can either count up or count down or not have it a counter at all. I like having time remaining because that's how every game I've ever played of Halo starts from basically 12 minutes, counts down to zero. It also helps out when it comes to counting your uh, respawn timers. But if you like, you know, counting up or if you don't want any counter at all, you can change it there. Now, like I said earlier, the match composer does not work for competitive games. If we click on competitive here, you can see that you're still your standard playlist as we've always seen with the MCC. But I think a big thing that Halo is MCC update is really missing out on is the hardcore playlist for Halo 2 and Halo 3 4v4s. A lot of people want to play your 4v4s, especially since we have a 4v4 tournament coming up in January, like I mentioned in a previous video. And the fact that there is no Halo 3 4v4 is a real big bummer for us to play right now. Though, there is certainly a workaround and some news coming right down the pipeline for this. Postums recently posted up on Twitter saying, PSA Halo 3 Team Hardcore 4v4s is coming back sometime this week most likely wednesday just got confirmation from the pub team on it so don't fret for the time being the official ohcs account will have all the maps and game types you will ever need for it so just all you gotta do is just add the official hcs team or gamer tag to your MCC and then you'll be able to download all the game tags and play in customs for now. But we will have some 4v4 MLG settings coming that our way very soon. We also have some general matchmaking tweaks as well. We have party slash team matching rules are now more consistently applied when backfilling. Fixed issues with rank threshold not being respected for matching on various backfilling scenarios. Team doubles matching now backfills appropriately after a squad leader quits and made refinements to conditions where players were warned for idling in matchmaking. Now uh, that's just some of the good stuff. Again, like I said, the entire waypoint update is in the link in the description down below if you want to check it out. If you want to get all the little details, but this is basically everything you need to know. But moving forward, we're probably going, hmm, I'm probably wondering what's going to be happening with the MCC now. Are we still getting updates? Yes, we are. In fact, 343 is planning to bring an update for December as well. Uh, sometime after the Christmas holiday and before New Year's is probably what I would expect for a, a December update. And also they do mention about the custom game browser, which they've been teasing us for about a year now when it comes to being put into the MCC. They say that you know to keep that on your radar, they are gonna try to implement they are going to implement this into the game, it's just not right now. And um, they said that it'll probably be sometime in early next year, but it is on the horizon. They are thinking about it, they are working on it, it will happen. So yeah, that's the MCC update. A uh, big one. I've 
played, uh, I streamed it a lot uh, last night, and it was a ton of fun. I finally got a chance to play MCC exactly how I want to play it. It was a great experience. I was finding matches like no problem. Uh, it was very live on Twitch as well when it came to streaming MCC. I mean, I had a great stream as well. It was a really fun time. So if you guys want to check out any live streams from me, check out the link in the description down below to my Twitch. I do stream on there quite often, about two or three times a week. Uh, I do post up on Twitter, which is also a link in the description down below, and as well on the Discord, which is, guess what? as well linked in the description as well whenever i do go live so you guys can keep update there if you enjoyed this news information on the video please make sure to tap that like button let me know if you see you want more content like this leave a comment down below what your guys's experience has been with the mcc update for me it's been freaking amazing and if you're new to the channel stay up to date with anything halo related make sure to tap subscribe with the bell to keep up to date with anything halo related check out the videos on the screen right over here if you missed any content from me and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out